So it was able to uh, know that the spotlight was plugged in. You have a low, so that's the low brightness, and then that's the high brightness that is a little brighter. Another day, another package. This one's just really small. All right, so this I didn't even really know about. Somehow, uh, I guess Wise didn't send me an email or tell me or anything. This is just an adapter. So this is an adapter for my Wise Cam version three, the Wise Cam version three spotlight kit. What I understand essentially this goes on top of the Wise Cam and uh, basically gives you a spotlight for if you're using one of these outside. I'm gonna have to actually set mine up outside so we can see this at night, but do an unboxing. We're gonna do a setup and uh, then we'll show it being used. Let's get into it. And before we get into the Wisecam version 3 spotlight kit, make sure you click that like button for me, click subscribe, and check out indulgeclothing.com for our merch. Now uh, let's open this up, set it up, and see how it works. Very little box here. Wisecam V3 spotlight kit. Wise on the top, barcode on the bottom. Motion activated, easy setup, bright LEDs, adjustable lighting. In the Wisecam V3 spotlight kit, you get the USB cable and it requires a Wisecam V3, which of course is not included. Let's open this up though. So, inside of the box, oh, look at that, very wise esque as I say. I didn't even mean actually. So we'll slide this out. Okay, okay. And look at this. We have uh, we have some instructions right here on the front. Connect to the wise cam, connect to the spotlight. So it comes with like a USB splitter. And then uh, mounting tape. So you want the okay, okay. This basically shows you what you need to do. We'll open this on up. Oh, look at that. So there's our cable. They're also even labeled, telling you exactly what to do. Those little things. And this. And this is the spotlight. I don't know how many LEDs are in this, um, but it's designed to be bright and be used outside. There's the uh, USB port on the back, and the tape is already on the bottom. It's like part of it. So. This has your FCC warning, and then another. Wait. Another diagram <laughs> showing you how you would actually connect this. So your wall plug to your cable goes to the splitter and then this plugs in and this plugs in. It seems pretty straightforward. But that should do it for the unboxing. Now let's take a look at the setup. So we have our uh, splitter cable here. Let's take the little rubber band off. Like so. Okay, so this side says connect to spotlight. So we will uh, connect this cable back here. And then this one says connect to camera. Take our Wisecam V3 and we will plug it in to this cable. Include, you know, all the weatherproof stuff to keep this good and secure. Then one of your last steps is you peel off your 3M tape. To you peel off your tape, you uh, of course make sure you have the lights facing the front. And then you essentially just slide this right on top. It kind of has its little groove there. Can you see that? That little groove on each side. And then you just press it on like so. And I'm going to hold it for 30 seconds or whatnot. And there we go. Now my Wisecam version 3 has a little spotlight. Grab the power cable. We'll plug this up and... Uh, Get just a little inside test, and then I'll show you the outside test later. And there we go. It's plugged in. Camera is booting up. That seems to be it. There's no actual setup needed from the app or anything like that. Just uh, plugs into the cable that comes with your Wisecam V3. You use your splitter, and bada bing, you've got yourself a spotlight. Now, I'm going to look in the app and see if there's any extra settings or anything now. There is settings in the app. So it was able to uh, know that the spotlight was plugged in. You have a low, so that's the low brightness, and then that's the high brightness that is a little brighter. Best for outdoor use, best for indoor use, okay. And then uh, turn on at dark, 
always, motion is detected. So apparently you can just leave this thing on at all times, can you? Wow. We have the options to turn on at dark. I don't know what other options you'd really have there, but, and so when motion is detected, that's when the light should cut on, of course, when it's nighttime. And look at that. Look at that, look at that. You even get an added little, you even get an added little, uh, see that button next to the auto setting? Looks like that just turns on the light. Look at that, nice. And then to get into those settings again, you click your settings gear. And then right down here you have accessories and uh, spotlight. This makes me think that more accessories are going to be coming for the Wisecam devices. Turn off the lights. It's not pitch black in here, but that's a pretty good, you know, brightness. I don't know how much this will brighten outside, like how bright it'll be, how far it'll show up, but oh look at that, it slowly fades. So you see this is what it looks like without the light and then that's what it looks like with the light. So uh, I'm gonna set this up outside though. Of course once it's night time, it's 8 in the morning right now. And then we'll see how this works outside. So uh, here's a quick video of what the light looks like when it's outside. Brought this outside. Can you see it? It was just on now. I'm not certain why. There it goes. Alright. So the light's on, that's what it's uh, lighting up in my yard, so it's lighting up a little bit, very little bit, just enough though, I can see. Yeah, I can tell you it's it's lighting up a lot more than, than you can see in the video, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely pretty bright, I would, I mean, basically everything you can see there is lit up in my yard, which is almost to my fence, which is right there. And so there's what the light looks like when it's outside. It definitely lights up the area. It was really hard to get it in the camera, but I promise you it actually lit up at least 15 to 20 feet from where that camera was positioned at to what it could see with the light. And then of course there is a lower LED setting for the Wise Cam Spotlight that really for indoor use. Now at first I'd wondered like, why would you want a spotlight for indoor use? But my girlfriend actually reminded me that this camera we purchased was for our upstairs hallway. And honestly, if we had the spot, had the uh, V3 camera upstairs in the hallway with the, with the spotlight cam on it, when we walked into the hallway, it would light up and would be able to see in the hallway. So actually I kind of like this idea. The only issue I have is currently in the accessory settings, you can't set specific times. So the light just works once it's nighttime. Now technically that should be fine, but for me, I would much rather tell it to only use the light when I'm setting this up indoors. To only use the light when it's say 11 p.m. to like 7 a.m. because you know, because it's 7, 8 o'clock at night, I don't really need a light in my hallway. But uh, I think if they make that small update, this definitely would be something that we may use. Let me give you a quick little clip of what the spotlight looks like in a very dark hallway inside your house on the uh, inside setting. So this is my upstairs hallway and when I activate the spotlight cam by motion it uh it lights it up pretty well I'd say. Nice job. The only issue I've kind of noticed is depending on how you set up your camera the uh, spotlight cam kind of makes it too heavy so it makes it where it falls. Uh, in the end, I really don't have any issues with the uh, with the accessory as they're calling it at all. Now, I would say I hope in the app that they uh, that they add the feature where you can instead of all day you can select like schedule and then you could tell it you know 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. I think that would be great for inside the house. Now, would I recommend this to anybody? I would honestly say if you're putting Wisecam version threes on the outside of your house, I completely think for $9.99 it is a great investment totally worth it. For the inside, maybe not so much, but as I mentioned, you could really, you know, if you have enough Wisecam version 3s, you could use them with the spotlights to kind of light up your house and give you a way to see as you walk through your house to just run downstairs and grab a drink in the middle of the night. But I think that will do it for this video. If you can, click that like button for me, click subscribe down below, and check out Indulge Clothing for the merch, and I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.